Thanks for joining us today for the Capital Luxury Update. As you've probably seen in some of our past episodes, we love to show you some really fancy houses. But well, we figure today we want to show you what does a million dollars buy you in D.C.? A lot of folks, that seems to be more the price range they're looking for. And personally, my wife, my daughters and I, that's kind of what we're looking for. We're looking for a house probably Northwest DC or Bethesda for about a million dollars. So from a personal experience, I thought it'd be fun to share with you what is selling for a million dollars here in DC. Hello and welcome to the Capital Luxury Update with Matt Cheney, a series of short videos showcasing the latest trends in the Capital Region's luxury real estate market. Okay, so what makes this a million dollar house? Well, for starters, it was put on the market for $969 and they received four offers. So that's right, it's under contract and it went for substantially more than a million dollars. The house itself is built in 1941. It's what you would call a colonial style house. Three bedrooms up, full bathroom up. Here in the main floor, there's another half bath and then in the basement, there's another half bath. The house itself is approximately 1,600 square feet and the lot itself is approximately 4,400 square feet. Oh, and location. That's always important, location. So we're just a couple blocks from the Tenley Town AU Park Metro Station, which means that you have a whole bunch of shopping, retail, restaurants, just a couple of minutes away. Let's do a quick tour of the house. I'll show you some highlights of the house and also some talking points as to why the house definitely went for just over a million dollars. So you can see right here, there's this really nice front porch here. A couple of really cool details. You notice that they, they painted the front door blue. That's also always a good thing. Uh, blue actually uh, connotates calmness. So that's an interesting thing. I love these Adirondack chairs here in the front. And they definitely updated this, this front porch here. So here we have the front living room. Good space, really nice space. The seller went ahead and did some nice features ahead of time. So you can see it's been freshly painted. The floors have been redone. Hardwood floors throughout, always a really nice feature. And if you're looking to sell a house, some things that you should do. Redo the floors, paint the walls. Love how these windows have been updated. If you're looking to buy a home right now, that's a major thing to keep pay attention to. Whether or not the windows have been updated or not, that could be a major hidden cost down the road. Back through this way, we have the dining room, and around this way, we have the, the kitchen. Half bath is right through this way. Uh, access to the basement right down through there. And then we have this, this nice little kitchen here. What we're seeing right now in the marketplace is a lot of folks are looking for houses that are done. Uh, turnkey, that is, where they don't have to do much work. So as you can see right here, the house has been updated. Uh, within the past decade or so, and it's definitely move-in ready. And back through this way, we have the front dining room. Great space here as well. Love these classic details you'd find. Notice how the plaster has this really kind of uh, artistic detailing right there. That's pretty cool. I like that. Now let's head upstairs. So here on the, the second floor, you have three bedrooms. Uh, oftentimes we're finding folks are looking for the bedrooms all on the same floor. I can speak for my, for my experience. Uh, my wife and I like to have our daughters on the same floor. Uh, so two bedrooms right here, great for the kiddos. And then we have a main bedroom right through this way. Uh, definitely good enough space for a king size bed right through here. Uh, often what you, you definitely wanna look for a space where you can fit a king size bed. That's, that's definitely a, a detail folks are looking for. And then we have an updated bathroom. You definitely want to look for that. That's another thing we're seeing in the marketplace right now is folks are looking for bathrooms that are done, move-in ready. And this is a move-in ready bathroom. All right, let's check out the basement. Before that, sometimes you'll see in some of these older homes that there's a switch here in the stairwell going down the basement and it doesn't control your light fixtures. It actually controls the furnaces. So be mindful of that. Uh, you want to make sure it's marked and you want to make sure that they're blocked off so people aren't turning them on and off, especially during the winter time. Here in the basement of this house, they were able to finish out part of the space. So you can see nice little rec room right here. There's a half bath back through that door and a nice little wet bar area right here. Great space for your Peloton bike, right? Or maybe some, a lot of toys. <laughs> back through this way is the, the furnace room. When buying a house, you wanna have an inspector come through. Definitely when you're under contract, the things that they're gonna check, the HVAC, you know, the furnace, the water boiler, the air conditioning unit, things like that. Um, notice that there's a washer dryer in here. This space walks out in the back. What I look for, especially when I'm coming through and doing the showings, is uh, does it present well? Does it does it feel dry? Uh, do I see any signs of uh, any signs of you know water damage? Things like that. Things to be mindful. Obviously, a home inspector will look for those things, but these are things to keep an eye out for when you're out 
looking for the homes in the first place. Let's go check out the backyard. Okay, we've seen the inside of the house. Now we should check out the backyard. Remember, this is a 4,000 square, 4,400 square foot lot. So good outdoor space. We're hearing that a lot today. Folks want outdoor space. So we have a really nice deck right here. And down below, we have a little patio area. We should check that out. The patio area is accessible from the basement. And it opens up to this little yard area as well. And check this out. We have a detached garage. I'm hearing that a lot these days from my buyer clients. They want a garage for their car. So this house has a garage. One of the other things that makes it a million dollar home. So there you have you, a million dollar house. What does a million dollars get you in DC? So what makes this a million dollar house? Just kind of go back through it. Remember location, we're near two blocks or so from a metro station. The house itself, didn't see any major projects. The house has been updated, you know, painted. The floors have been redone. Three bedrooms up. It's a detached house. So all those things kind of add up and kind of make it what it is, a million dollar house. Remember, there were four offers that came through on this home, many with them with large down payments. Are you looking to buy a house about a million dollars right now and trying to figure out how to navigate the process and what it takes to have a winning offer? I'm here for you. Reach out, contact me. I can help you win one of these homes. Thank you for joining us for another episode of The Capital Luxury Update. Remember, smash that subscribe button. And in the comments below, we wanna hear about what you wanna see in our future episodes.